Hi, I'm Andrew from AquaponicSystems.com and we'll take you for an in-depth look at the Biopod and talk more about the Black Soldier Fly, which I'll call BSF for its shorter and quicker say. The Biopod's purpose is to produce the grubs which are a result of the sixth stage of pupation. This final stage is before it morphs into a fly. The BSF larvae I'll sometimes refer to as grubs. They are often called phoenix worms or soldier grubs and are sold live in pet food stores. In a typical worm farm or compost heap, there are a variety of meats and foods that you would never put in there. But not for the biopod. You can throw it all in, even animal manure, and they'll love it and consume it quickly. The biopod creates an ideal environment for the grubs, and best of all, they will harvest themselves conveniently into a, into a bucket when they have reached their final stage of pupation. This gives you a system that very efficiently recycles waste and in the process creates an excellent food source for a variety of animals. There are many, many uses for the grubs. One of those is for feeding fish. In aquaculture and aquaponics, the grub is increasingly being used as a food source in order to reduce the use of fish pellets. It is also quite nutritional, being very high in protein. Other uses include feeding birds, reptiles, chickens and a range of animal, other animals. Here is a quick fly through of the biopod. After the larvae has gone through its sixth stage of pupation and no longer has a mouth, it will make its way up the 35 degree ramp and nose dive down the top hole and into the collection bu bucket down below, ready for you to harvest it. During the warmer months you'll get a much larger production and hence need to feed them more. If you have more than you need on any given day, simply freeze them for the colder months when production isn't as prolific. By freezing them, you'll have a plentiful supply all year round. In the centre bottom of the biopod, you'll find this filter. Liquid flows out of the hole through the filter, obviously the filter out any solids, and into the container underneath. The liquid can actually be used as a fly repellent for other flies except BSS of, BSF of course because it'll attract the BSF um, females to lay their eggs. This here is the container which is removable by twisting it off. You can also use the liquid as a plant fertilizer. In the removable cap that sits on the top of the biopod is a gap that allows the BSF easy access into the biopod. The BSF secrete a fly repellent for all other species of flies so you never have to worry about the filthy flies getting in your biopod. The BSF adult won't also eat anything as it doesn't have a mouth. Its only purpose as an adult is to mate and to lay its eggs. You're now looking under the cap of the, of the biopod. The adults like to lay its eggs either above or next to a food source. So you'll see under the cap a white disc shaped object. This disc is the ideal place where adults will lay their eggs. The eggs will take about four days to hatch. When they hatch, they will fall into the food and they'll then start munching away. You can see in the disc the inserts there where they'll lay their eggs. If you want to produce grubs on a larger scale, there are commercial versions available. Today we just had a look at the residential version known as the Biopod. The official website for the Biopod can be found at thebiopod.com. At the site you'll also find a great forum where you can get all of your BSF and Biopod questions answered.